Hello, uh, this is Buck at SoCal Motorcycle Services. This is going to be the wiring and completion part of the vintage Vespa electric conversion. Uh, this will be a relatively short video because it's really simple to wire it. The cabling was much more complicated, much more complicated. The wiring for you guys is going to be very simple. It was a little difficult on this bike because the previous owner did some bodge job on the wiring harness. So you're just going to have to hook up two wires to the wiring harness, a ground and a power line. Uh, and then that's the complete wiring of the actual scooter to the kit. But let me show you what you can expect. First off, you're going to have the wheel assembly, the control box, and some gadgets. So what you do, you follow the first steps and install the motor wheel assembly on the bike like I've done before in videos. Then you take the wiring harness that's attached to the motor unit right here. It'll have three main cables, one controller connector, and then a diagnostic port. The diagnostic port is capped and you don't need to mess with it. So that so you're only going to deal with these three basically wires. So what you do is first you put the motor and wheel kit in the bike. Then you feed the wiring harness from it behind the battery mounting box. It'll be very natural. And into the air intake. What used to be the air intake. You feed the wires up into there. That'll be that harness right there, this gray cable. So you want to feed them up through there. Then you pull the wires out from the top here and you hook them up to the box. You hook up these three cables corresponding with the cables on the control box. It's very simple. You just un hook, unbolt those nuts, put on, match the cable colors, put it back together again, put on a little cover, and you're done with that part. Then you connect the wiring harness controller cable to the wiring harness controller cable on uh, the connector that's on the wheel assembly. Once you have those connected, the box, box just nestles in nice and snug right here. It has an angle on it so that it fits the wheel well perfectly. And then you feed back through the air intake you feed this cable which is the battery cable hooks up to the battery it comes with two so you can have two batteries but uh, this this application is only using one so that wire connector comes through here attaches to the battery here this connector that comes out of the battery is for the charger. That's where you hook up the charger. So, on the box you're going to have several connectors. The three wire connector right here is for your throttle. 
this is the original throttle. We're going to use one in the box, but you saw that in other videos. So that's the only three wire connector. Uh, it's black, red, and green. It corresponds with the, uh, the throttle box. You connect that. Then you'll have a red and black connector, which is your energy gauge. Then you will have another wire that's green and black. Another set of wires is green and black. That's your emergency kill switch that's going to be hooked up to your clutch. So when you pull the clutch, it kills all the power to the, to the motor. Um, this is the old style. I am using it in the video just to show you how it's going to be hooked up. The new style has a box that has the throttle box and the safety switch in it. You'll just hook up these wires to the two wires in the throttle box uh, after you hook up your uh, clutch cable. It's very simple. Now, how do you wire it to the wire harness? Well, the wiring harness that goes to uh, the main power that goes to the wire to the to the bike to the bike's uh, wiring harness is this blue and yellow wired connector. This connector will hook up to your wiring harness. Your wiring harness will have three wires. Well, it'll have one yellow, two green that are together, and then a black wire. Your colors may differ because this is something that the previous owner came up with. So on this one, the green is the power, which will hook up to the blue, uh, which will hook up to the yellow. See, I, I hardwired it in. So the... From the wiring harness, we'll hook up to the yellow cable. Then the blue cable from the control box will hook up to the ground on the wiring harness. Those two wires are all you need to hook up. I uh, hardwired them, like I said, and shrink wrapped them so that they would be enough permanent. So after you do that, you nestle in all the parts, it fits like a glove. Uh, you have the controller box, mixing, uh, slides in here with the cutout for the wheel well on the bottom. And then that box right there, that black box is your throttle control box that has the throttle cable. Uh, the rheostat thr throttle uh, controller on it. Okay, so after it's all hooked up, It'll look like this. You take the key, which is electronic fob, press on button, lights come on. So you got a running light, headlight, and horn, which you will have to hook up. Your horn is right there. nice loud horn. Then, when all the lights are on, your bike's ready to be ridden. So, just like on a motorcycle, you twist the throttle, and the wheel goes. You can stop the wheel with the rear brake, and if you'll notice, when you press the brake, brake light comes on. It's as simple as that to wire the bike. It's by far what my customers thought was the um, hardest part, but it's actually the easiest. The hardest, like I said, is hooking up all the new cables. 
So, stay tuned for that's it. The bike's complete. I just have to put it back together again and go for a ride. So the next video coming out this weekend will be the final video for this series. Uh, it'll be riding the bike. Uh, I've already ridden it um, just as a spoiler and it's unbelievably fun. This kit is just a dream to work with. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, look for the riding video uh, by Sunday evening. Have a good one. If you have any questions, please uh, post, uh, ask them below. Uh, like and subscribe if you want more content. And let me know what's, uh, what's some things you'd like me to cover on the next project. I'm thinking of basic, a basic top 10 list of issues that most motorcyclists will uh, encounter. So have a great day. Uh, talk to you soon.